Hey everybody, Chris here. With today's video, we're going to be talking about Katana's booking engine. For many of those who are not familiar with what our booking engine is, it's essentially a back-end logic that allows us to book sales items to all of your sales orders, or book ingredients to your manufacturing orders, or for make-to-order businesses, we can actually book your ingredients directly to your sales orders for your customers who order make-to-order products. So, to get started, to kind of show you how this works, um, those of you who have been using our product quite a lot are probably a little bit familiar with this, but for new users, this is quite important to really take note of. When you log into Katana and you are on the sell screen, which is the first page you'll notice, this is your list of sales orders. And here off to the right are a bunch of multicolored blocks that give a lot of information about the statuses of these orders and how they relate to your entire uh, supply chain and workflows. So to touch base on each of these topics, we have the first column here, which is called sales items, and this is sales item availability. This asks one simple question. Do you have enough products or items that are on the sales order in stock in order to send that sales order out today? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, then you'll see that it says it's in stock and it turns green. If the answer is no, then our system will begin to look for a open manufacturing order or an open purchase order that has those sales items inside of inside of it and then it will identify when is the expected arrival date or the expected completion date and put it here so that way you have knowledge right in front of you saying that it's going to be ready then if there is no open manufacturing orders or open purchase orders for the items in your sales order then it will tell you that they're not available and then you'll need to do something about this. You'll either need to make the products that are in the sales order through manufacturing them, or if they're items that you're reselling, you'll need to buy them in from your suppliers. Furthermore, we take it a step further when it comes to companies that are make-to-order. Make-to-order businesses or make-to-order products are products that you do not carry in stock. You only initiate the manufacturing process as soon as the sales order is closed. So Katana, has a booking engine that allows you to actually book your raw material ingredients directly to a sales order based on the products that are in that sales order. So in certain cases, uh, you maybe you have both. Maybe you're a company that makes products to stock or you have special orders that are also made to order. Katana gives you the flexibility to kind of work with both workflows. So for this ingredients column, this is the ingredients availability column. If you have a product, the products in stock or the items in stock, then it will say that they've already been processed because they've already been made. Um, if you are looking to actually manufacture a product to uh, make to order, it will identify if the ingredients are in stock or not. And if they aren't, it will try to book them from an open purchase order from your supplier who's shipping you materials that are expected to arrive on this day. And lastly, if it's not available, then of course, you need to do something about that um, because your commitments of those raw materials is exceeding what's available. So uh, that's kind of the basis of how it works. So to kind of show you how all of the mechanics function with each other, I've set up this account in a very simple way to kind of highlight the interactions between sales orders and manufacturing orders. So first off, to kind of kick things off, I want to show you the items that I have inside of this Katana account. I have three products, and if we go inside of the product, you'll see that this is a t-shirt. The t-shirt comes in three different styles, which are three variants. Style one and style two, these are what I call my make to stock products. These are items that I purchase uh, materials for. I build them to stock, so I have stock available as much as I need regularly. And then I have a style three option, which is a make to order. So a customer would basically contact us. He wants to have style number three. And then we're like, okay, no problem. We'll, we'll start making it. It will be available by this day. So each of these three shirts, just for simplicity's sake, use only one ingredient. And this one ingredient is what we call blank t-shirts. Every single version of those shirts uses one piece and that applies to all styles. This way it's very simple to kind of show how the ingredients are related to each other whenever they're booking those materials. So now when it comes to these products, we need to take a look at the sales orders, who ordered what. 
So for my first sales order, which is John, he ordered style number one, which is currently in stock and has been processed. And you'll see that information translate here to the main sales screen. Sales order number two is Chris, who ordered t-shirt style number two, which is currently in stock. So sales order number two can be fulfilled. Sales order number three is Fred, who ordered also style number two, just like Chris, but there's a difference here. His is expected on the 21st of June. Now, if you notice how this works, to show you how the booking engine works for sales items, I have enough product of style two in stock to satisfy Chris's sales order, but I don't for Fred's sales order. Fred's sales order is looking for this style number two t-shirt from an open manufacturing order which is expected to be completed on the 21st of June. Now if for some reason Fred contacts me and says hey we need to uh, uh, I would like to get my my item sooner and you're like well it's not going to be ready until this specific day before I can ship it then you can actually change the importance of Fred's order higher into the queue and it will update all of the statuses as they relate to the sales items in that sales order. So now you could say, sure Fred, not a problem. We can send it out today. We have it in stock. But you do need to contact Chris and say, hey, it's gonna be a little bit later. I hope that's okay. If Chris says that's okay, that's okay. And you've satisfied both of your customers by staying in touch with them and telling them exactly what they should expect to have happen. Now, the last two sales orders, sales order number four and sales order number five, are Ralph and Tom. So Ralph has ordered a style number three, which is make to order. And you can see that this item is not in stock. It's not in stock because we don't make this to stock. We make this to order. So what's important for us is to know if the ingredients are available or not. It says here that the ingredients are expected to arrive on the 5th of July. Now this means that we don't have enough ingredients available to make that until this day whenever that open purchase order with those blank t-shirts that make this product actually arrive. If we look at sales order number five for Tom, if we satisfy his order at this rank in the queue, we don't have enough raw material ingredients to take care of his needs. So let's go ahead and push those sales orders directly to manufacturing as a make to order. We have the make to order button here, which will do that for us. Now, with Katana, you have basically two workflows when it comes to manufacturing. You have the make to order workflow and you have the make to stock workflow. To show what happens with both is we would go to the make screen. Now on the make screen, you'll notice that we push sales order four and sales order five as a make to order inside of Katana. So on the make screen, what's gonna happen is sales order four actual sales order number with the customer's name in it and sales order five with the customer's name in it for t-shirt style number three make to order gets pushed directly into the manufacturing queue and the ingredients that are required for all my manufacturing orders also gets displayed here based on their rank so right now sales order four and sales order five are at the bottom of the queue and there's not enough ingredients in stock in order to satisfy their production requirements but I do have two open manufacturing orders that are currently booking the ingredients of these blank t-shirts and they are in stock. So what's very cool with Katana is we try to drive the importance of this one concept of make to order companies who operate a very lean system, uh, the ability to prioritize their sales orders so they can actually um, better understand how their raw material is impacted by sales orders that come in. So let's say for example that Tom himself, he contacts us and he says, hey guys, I need my order done as soon as possible, the quickest way you possibly can. And you're saying, well, based on the fact that yours is the most recent order, we don't have enough raw material available to take care of that immediately. That's what would happen in a lot of scenarios when it comes to small businesses. They, they typically would organize their sales orders based on date or based on how recent or how old it is. And using that system means that you would satisfy those orders as they, um, as they come in. But if you don't have material 
and you take material away from another order, then that first order is going to be late. In Katana, we try to counteract this situation by giving you this possibility. Tom calls you, says he needs it now. You push it all the way up to the top. The sales order importance increases all the way to the very top. The ingredients are now rebooked, and they're rebooked to in stock. So now, what happens with sales order number five in relationship to your manufacturing queue if the sales importance has increased? On the make screen, you will see that sales order five here has been pushed up as well because they're actually linked. We link sales orders directly to your make to orders. So that way, when the increase of prioritization or importance goes up on one side or goes down on one side, it's reflected on both sides. Now, why is this very important is number one, it books the raw materials first that are available for you. So you can start production on it immediately and identify it if you have any bottlenecks or you need to immediately purchase something. If they're in stock, you can tell your customer right at that moment, hey, no problem, everything is good to go. We can start working on it immediately. We'll have it done by this particular day, which based on today's current date would be today itself. And so moving forward from there, not only does it handle it at this level, it also handles it at the task level. So your shop floor, if you're running a print press, they're also going to re receive the make to order sales order number five first as the style printing operation in order to get started on it. That way you can simply just call up your customer and say to them, hey, everything is sorted. We've already started production. So if you're running a small horizontal, uh, horizontally structured team in your small manufacturing business, these types of flexibility uh, is extremely important to manage your scaling as you go through a rapid scaling process. Being flexible with your material availability, being flexible with your product availability, how they relate to products that you make to order, maybe these are what you do for business to business, or how they relate to um, make to stock, which is maybe where you manage your direct to consumer sales pipeline. All of these interrelationships are very critical to managing and maintaining a lean business. So I hope that this gives a little of an overview that could be very useful for your manufacturing or your smart workshop. And um, using Katana can really enable you to free up a lot of the constraints that you might have with spreadsheets, or even in some cases, just managing everything from a sales order basis and a date basis. Um, if you have questions about this, feel free to uh, shoot us a message here in the chat box down below, or you can send us an email to support at katanamrp.com, and a member of our team will be happy to uh, give you more information about this or any other questions you may have. That's it from me today. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and happy manufacturing.